guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another day in the vlog um today is market day and um, <laughs> hey i always you know feel somehow like i always feel very tired when i'm going to the market because i know how stressful market runs can be but what are we going to do we have to eat and uh, today is that day today is 14th of um december usually my market dates are always third but for some reason this month has been I, I haven't been able to go to the market early it's been stressful for me this month it's been a very busy month for me and um this is the only time i have and today is thursday another thing is i don't like going to the market on thursday because they open the market around 10. if you live in lagos nigeria um, Thursdays are always environmental days for market people. So if you sell in Balogo, you sell in My 12, you sell in any market you sell, or even on the streets, you don't open your shop until 10 a.m. Rather, you come, you clean, make sure that everywhere is neat, and the time you put your market to be 10 a.m. And the time right now is 9 o'clock. And um, yeah, I just thought to used today after today i may not have the time to go to the market because it's going to be like a very busy week a very busy month and all that and i don't want to give myself stress to go to the market at that time because if i don't go now by next week price of food stuff will double times two and i don't want that myself so i'm not happy going to the market today but i do not have a choice than to do that and here guys um i just thought to carry you guys along i have my list written out already if you can see i have my list i cannot go to the market without going to the list if you go to the market without you know just thing just thing down things <laughs> then making a list guys i'm telling you, you may end up not um being specific on what you want so i like to work with my budget but right now normally when i go to the market if you can see this list i do not put the price of food stuff in the list because i don't know how much food stuff will be in the market usually when i'm going to the market i always write my food stuff because i already know how much i'm going to buy this i'm already know how much i'm going to buy this i'm already know how much i'm going to buy this although i have them in mind but i did not write them down because i don't want to get to the market it's not the same price so what i'm doing is that i'm leaving the um price list um side blank so that when i get to the market whatsoever i'm buying I'll just write the price of the thing that I bought. I always like to go my my pen also. <laughs> Trust me, if I go to the market, I go my paper, my list, and my pen. So anything I'm buying, if I'm buying this one beyond that price, I always like to, you know, change the price or write down the price so that I know the amounts I bought this thing. So that next time I will have an idea. So it's very important, it's very key. Always make sure that you have your list ready. And if you like to put the price fine, if you don't want to, also good. When you get to the market, have your pen. Whatever you're buying, write them down. And writing, taking down your list or writing lists will help you not to go beyond your budget or beyond what you're supposed to buy. So you have you will stay focused. Maybe after you know buying everything on the list, then maybe miscellaneous. Is it miscellaneous they call it? Yes. You cannot start buying every any other thing you feel like. You want to buy that's not so important because whatever you're writing on this list it shows that it's something that you need so it's important you go with your list i always like to go with my list i do not joke with that yeah that's it for the market or that's it for this morning i just thought to carry you guys along and also to update you guys on the price of food stuff as at december as at today and is the 14th of december so let's know how much food stuff is and let me know how much you spent this month you know it's festive period we are not going to buy the regular things we always buy even if you're going to buy the regular things we we'll still add some things because it's festive period people are still going to come to the house to visit you during the christmas or maybe you just want to buy things and just know that everybody is happy you know everybody's happy and enjoying so that's it for today i just thought to update you guys as i said and um here yeah, guys i'm at an starting our own winter has started <laughs> the weather is so cold my nose is dry my that's why you can see me how to use my lip balm because uh, i do not want this lip to start cracking i do not want to start cracking so i have my lip balm on i'm still going to carry it in my bag or in my wallet so that when i get to the market and it feels like my lips is getting dry i will just you know 
apply that and i'm also going to go with my hand sanitizer because i i have like dry palms so i don't want my hands to get too dry and all that i'm prepared for the market even though it's always stressful so guys that's it for today um if you're new here or you're seeing this is your very first time my name is blessing i am a content creator based in lagos nigeria do well to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment below and to my old subscribers thank you so much guys you guys are amazing you know what to do leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up i will speak to you guys when i get to the market bye so guys my first stop was where they sell this pepper soup and white soup spices they are very healthy and very good I want to make white soup, so that's why I got them. I also got this yellow pepper because of how fresh it is, and I always use it to cook my soup because of the taste it gives. And I got this uda. I'll leave the English name on the screen. I also got afang because I must make afang every month in the house. I got this afang for 1200 and I like to prep my afang in the market because once I get home, it'll be easier for me to cook. Beside that, I don't have in as a man, I don't have that time to, you know, slice this leaf the way they are doing here. So this is their work, and I like to do that here. Once I get home, it will be easier for me to cook and faster for me also to cook. So I like to, you know, prep them in the market, then cut them when I get home. I'll just cook, you know, the food. And I also saw watermelon, guys. I saw people rushing this watermelon. I had to key into the watermelon i got each of these for 200 naira, so i got like five and they're so ripe and sweet i got it for 1000 that's five for 1000 i got perinku for my afang soup i got this one a derika for i think 500 naira then to cut it is 100 naira and i also got um pam canel for my uh, atama soup bangas if you know that and i got this fish guys this fish doesn't this fish looks small but once you pour hot water on it, the way he swells and so tasty, very, very tasty. I also, I think I got it for 3,000 naira. I also got um, coconut oil because it's Amatan season. I need to use it for my children. I don't want to, you know, I don't want them at their skin to be so dry. So I have to get coconut oil. I also got um, honey. I got each of these for one, one five one five, so that's three thousand. I also got coconut because I want to make coconut rice, and I got each. I think I got like four coconut for, I think um um one thousand two hundred naira, and I got crayfish. Um, crayfish I got I got half the week of crayfish for two thousand naira. I know if I'd gone to Igbo, this crayfish I would see for one five for there about, but because it's my twelve, definitely because they go to Igbo to, to buy. And I got dry prawns. I think I got dry prawns for 500 naira. I don't like to buy enough dry prawns. The one I bought last month, I forgot it in the house. And that was how it was spoiled. <laughs> so I don't like buying much. I also got Obono. Because my children like Obono soup. I think I got a cup of this Obono for 1,000 naira or so. And I got um, um, stockfish. Each of the stockfish is 500 naira. And my time made it so dry. I know how much uh, of stuff which I used to buy, but this one it makes it so dry. But it was very when I cooked, it was very very rich. I also got pepper. I think I got this pepper for um, five one thousand naira. I got pepper for one thousand naira, and they're so fresh, one thousand naira. And I also got yam. Each of this yam, I think I I got like six chibas of yam. And the six chibas of him, I got it for 12,000 naira. Last month, I got it for 10, 10k. So this month, they added price by 200, by 2,000. <laughs> so I got six for um, 12k. And I also got plantain because we need plantain in the house. I think I got this plantain for 2,500 naira for a bunch. And so it was so big, very big. And I got uh, tomato paste. I got like five rolls of tomato paste. Each of it is 550, 550, 550. I mean, 600 naira about. They have added money. Then the thing, the no tomato, um, no chicken. I got it for 1,000. And the ordinary no, I got it for 1,000. And I got curry and thyme. Each of those ones, 500 naira, which is 1,000 naira. I'm going to leave it in the prices on the screen. And I got all this for my 
fried rice and um what i'm using to cook rice basically i got coconut sunripe coconut milk i think i got this for 1000 no i mean 800 naira there about i got this pp mayonnaise and i also got this spice guys if you have not tried this spice please go and try it gima very very nice very nice very that it gives your um stock a different taste entirely and i also got pepper i got this pepper for 1000 as usual um and i got cameroon pepper for 1000 i got um red pepper for 1200 naira so the red pepper is more expensive because i think it has i don't know what, why it's more expensive <laughs> but i got this one for 1002 and i got the camera pepper for 1000 naira and this is where we're packing our uh, things at the end of the day i forgot cooking by because i got cooking by in the market from the market where I, I forgot it there i don't i don't know the store that i forgot the cooking bar but this is the person that helped me to carry these things to my car and at this point my battery was already low so i had to take the many things so that when i get home i will show you guys the many things i got and these are the things i got um to meet um potato i got this one for 2500 naira it's like quarter bag of half bag i don't even know how to put it but i got this for 2000 either 2003 or 2500 naira and i got onions i got this onions for two five better than last month last month was not good at all it was so bad and not even as fresh as this i got this one for two thousand five hundred naira, which is very okay and i also got bell peppers i got this green one for one five no one two i got it for one two and this yellow and red pepper i got them for um half kilo for one five which is very okay guys it's very okay i also got um spring onions and um green pea i got the spring onions for 500 very expensive i used to get it for 200 naira but it's not very expensive and the green pea for 500 naira and the other one for 200 naira i also got gary gary ederica is 1000 400 naira so i got one and a half derica and i also got those peppers i like to buy them for my ofada sauce i got this one for 500 guys it's so fresh and very very okay for that you know price like very okay for that price i also got ginger ginger is not very expensive this ginger I always buy it for 300 but today i got it for 1000 because in all of my 12 i didn't see ginger until I saw it in one man's store and the man had to sell it expensive for me. <laughs> so I didn't have a choice. I also got um, cabbage. I got each of these cabbage for 400 naira, which is expensive for me. I know that I used to get this one for 250 thereabouts. And I got smoked fish. I got each of these. I think they shaded it in three. I got it for, um, I think, 2000 or 2000 something, 2005 or so. But I got it in. Each it was 300 300 so i think i got it for 2000 and i also got spaghetti guys spaghetti is so expensive very 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 expensive i got it for 12500 naira for one um sack and i got this paper i got very fresh very very fresh for 1000 naira and yeah guys i got so much i got so much and i also got tomatoes I like the fact that this tomatoes is very strong and very okay so i got this one for two thousand naira for me it's expensive but because it's strong i didn't you know mind i just love the way it is and everything i got shombo i got this shombo for one thousand naira and i like that it is very fresh and i also got um green peas and that's all I got for this month. Total amount of what I spent on this market vlog was about 100k. And that was that's it for today's market vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.